Hello everyone, this is Bob and Threadbear, and welcome back to Deus Ex. Is he armed? It's Denton. We aren't taking any chances. Oh, I hope nobody gets hurt. We've got him penned in. He won't get far. What about this area? Is it safe? Long as I'm with you. I believe that conversation triggers whether or not you've actually triggered any alarms. Also, that's the secretary in there. Hey, find somewhere else to hide. Well, excuse me. Kinda have to deal with these guys here. Ooh. See, he goes down instantly. We don't want any trouble with the troops. Dr. Moreau tried to escape once, but he got shot in the leg. If you insist on bothering us, talk to Moreau. He knows the code to the medical area. We don't want any trouble with the troops. So, like I said, the scientists here also don't. And he doesn't want to talk to me. Okay. Scientists also don't want to be here. They're also forced labor as much as the engineers earlier. Also, the secretary has a prod. So I figured I'd just, you know, deal with that. Nice and safe. I've seen that book before. And nothing on the secretary's computer. Sad. So, in here we've got some more genetically modified organisms. I forget exactly what they're called. But you can release them. And so I figure, you know, why not? I didn't release the greasels, but uh, there was one to fight. But these guys, the big guys, huh. Okay, guess he's in retreat mode. Got injured just enough by the uh, monsters downstairs. Speaking of which, I, it's time for me to deal with them. When, when I say monsters, I mean they've got a lot of hit points. My assholes, charge me! Need to hit you with all the pellets from my shotgun. Yeah, it takes a full magazine. Uh oh, a full magazine and then some to deal with Sounds those. Like like oh, hello. Ah! Sorry, mate, but you do not get to trigger the alarm. Anyway, you may have noticed, but the code for the security system is on the one side, and the actual terminal for the security system is on this side. But I can't be asked to remember what it was. So whatever. Also, that turret might have come in handy in dealing with the giant... What the hells? Might help if I actually looked at them. You won't get far. They've locked the doors. Interesting. He's perfectly okay. Look for yourself. We have a lot to learn from this examination. Please, let us get on with our work. Please, let us get on with our work. There's Paul. Hi, Paul. Re-evaluation. Let's talk to the scientist first. Or not. Paul, are you alright? What are they doing to you? I'm like the Russian researcher who contracted his own virus. They want to study the way I die. I hate to interfere with science, but we don't have much time to get you to trace her tongue. You go first. I'll slip out on my own. You sure? Just take care of yourself and do me a favor. Check in with Alex when you reach Unatco level three. Some of those guys are on our side. All right, but you better make it. By the way, be on the lookout for Anna. She came by the cell block. Anna. There's something you should know about mechs. They have kill switches, too. Only theirs are instantaneous. Interesting. I guess mechs have us beat on one count. A kill phrase, they call it. The NSF learned that Anna's is stored in two pieces on two separate UNACO computers with the login Demiurge and password Archon. But I never managed to find it. Thanks for the tip. I have some business to take care of in Manhattan. 
See you in Hong Kong. Data vault image sent to Tracer Tong. Please leave the facility. At least one of you must survive. The code to the exit door is 1125. Well, now let's talk to the... I'll slip out on my own. We're beneath Unatco headquarters. The exit doors lead to Reyes' office. Tong can protect us. We just have to get to Hong Kong. You better get out of here. I'll make it. I promise. We're beneath Unatco headquarters. I'm afraid your brother has about 18 hours to live. Wish I had better news. If they've activated your own kill switch mechanism, you might have as long as 24. Walton Simons wants us to study the tissue damage. I don't exactly like what happened, but I guess they've got to think about international security. I'm afraid your brother has about 18 hours to live. Wish I had better news. You may have noticed before, but this is an alternate way down here into the uh, surgery section. And by the way, that door I went through would have been shut if I hadn't opened the car key, and that's it. The Karkian Containment Center, and lovely, it's locked. Ah, hell with it. I got tons of these things. So, anyway, still not talking to me. Okay. So, yeah, the door here would have been locked. We have a lot to learn from this examination. And that is specifically because the MJ 12 officers stationed on either side panicked when they got hit by the Karkians and opened the door in the process of trying to run away. Looks like that's all there is to do around here. I'm in the middle of something. Yeah, a hallway. I said I'm not getting involved. Don't make me call the guards. Don't make me call the guards. Oh, whatever. So, next we've got the command center. Just, just down the hallway here. And I'd say it's about time I show you what this lady can really do. Plenty of targets around here. God! Oh! God! Of course, it might have helped if I had uh, hit the guy on my first try. But hey, it takes out dots in one shot. And of course, the guy had the assault rifle slash pea shooter, so the uh, game doesn't even register the damage up there. Now you. Good night. Oh, you had a friend. Too bad. But that's the last of them. Command center has now been swept. You may recognize this earlier. When I went to that uh, terminal, turned off security. But now it's time to leave. Lock strength is infinite. But as usual in this game, if you happen to know the code, you can put it in early. Although it might break some things. See what we got here. Nothing. Still. Lovely. Now, Paul kind of spoiled it already for us. But the thing about the MJ-12 facility is that it is directly beneath the UNACO HQ. Please exit to the helipad. Potential encounters include Jaime Reyes, Sam Carter, Alex Jacobson, Joseph Manderley, and Anna Navarra. So I mentioned before that I refuse to kill any UNATCO soldiers. Not because there's any sort of reward or acknowledgement of this, but because after working with them for so long, it's just the right thing to do. Now, unfortunately, these guys are uh, a little more hardy than the NSF guys, so even if you hit them in the head, there is a period where they run towards you instead of just away. Like so. Let's see. 
I know one of the shots. Yep, yeah, there it is. So yeah, that's where that goes. A giant little ramp got downstairs. Just came up it now. No, it's at the bottom. Now this is our last chance to check through everybody's email. So I'm going to take advantage of that. Looks like Reyes was asked to look into Paul and my uh, deaths. Kind of cold-hearted, but we know he's on our side. JC, you escaped? Is that what lockdown's about? I forgot to give Manderly my resignation. I heard they killed Paul. MIB's raided the apartment, but he's alive. He's going to slip out on his own. Manderly's a snake. He told me they were going to leave your brother alone. What can I do to help? If you let him stay with the resistance, he'll show up more often. But it's a little more useful if he doesn't. Stay here. I could use an ally inside Unatco. Good idea. I can keep you informed. Do that, but be careful. You know what they do to spies. I will. By the way, the lab finally sent the augmentation canister I ordered. The one on the counter? Can your bots do the installation? Yeah, it was going to be a welcome aboard present. Guess it'll have to be a retirement gift. Oh, and we know what this one is. We saw the memo earlier. That's right, one of the most important augmentations of all, regeneration. With this, we no longer need to carry medkits. You can also get something that protects against, basically, fire and electrical damage, but who the hell cares? With regeneration, you protect yourself against all forms of damage. All forms of damage. There's only one choice in that regard. Now let's see what Alex has been up to. Yep, Morse talk with the Rosy Cross. Only this time he's actually got some useful information about MJ-12. Unfortunately, so do we. One last check in the hidden compartment down here. Nothing except the one credit chip, but it is 600 credits, so that's something. <laughs> one last check of the storage closet. <laughs> couple of useful crates in here. By the way, 30 is the maximum number you can carry of biocells. JC, I've been watching you through your info link. A harrowing escape. Thanks for tuning in. You're gonna need a key to get out of Unatco. We're under lockdown. I'd give it to you, but I don't know. Anna's on patrol. If she found out... I'll take care of Anna. I think I have to play it safe. If you can get rid of her, I'll give you the key and maybe I can escape myself. Otherwise, I'm going to keep my head down. Apparently, Alex is about ready to go, too. Also, he's monitoring the obstacle course, which is kind of interesting. You know, life goes on sort of way, I guess. Fortunately, the uh, Inatco HQ is pretty undermanned compared to when there are the most number of people around here. But there are a few Unaco troopers walking around. Like this what guy. The hell? Oh, he's back up here! Man, what a trooper. Taking a shot to the back and from the shock prop. General Carter. We've been through that soldier, just Carter. I've discovered some things about Unatco. I'm unlocking the armory. I don't want to know where you're going, just load up. Walton Simons, the head of FEMA. I said load up. I don't want to hear about it. I'm going over to the Rebels. You should join me. Let's get one thing straight. We've got our share of crooked bureaucrats, fact. But this is still Unatco, and by and large the people in this building are 24 karat gold. What good's an honest soldier if he can be ordered to behave like a terrorist? The only way to save the agency is for the good people to stay. That's how I see it. 
I like Carter's view on things. Also, he's surprisingly, uh... He's taking JC's betrayal really well. Uh-oh. An augmentation, uh... Upgrade canister. Well, I know where that goes. Straight into regeneration. Oh man, is regeneration useful. <laughs> Breather, that's another, um... Destructible item, I guess. That, uh... A one-use-only item. That one just happens to increase your oxygen capacity, obviously. I believe that's the third time you can get a GEP gun in the entire game. Actually, not much else here. Load up. You've still got to break out of HQ. Awaiting authorization. Uh, Fung's still freak me out, but this is the first time we can actually look onto Carter's computer. And go figure, there's something here that says that someone asked Carter to let them into the security system. Some say concentrated power leads to abuse, but I believe that if an institution has a solid foundation, it can survive the narrow aspirations of the people it employs. We'll get this place back on track. We'll get this place back on track. Like I said, I like Carter's view on things. That the systems are not the problem. It's the people in charge of the systems that really cause the harm. Also, uh, these two guys up here were not the problem, but I got surprised in the bathroom, and I, embarrassingly what enough, I actually got shot to death. There's one. And go figure, I got hit by the guy with the trank darts. Oh, he's back up here. And I tried to put ballistic protection on. The Ballistic protection, as you'll recall, is not very helpful against toxic damage. Uh, but hey, on the plus side, I get to use the regeneration now. Show what that's like. Nice feature, it turns off once it's not needed. Now let's have a crack at this computer here. By the way, that uh, login password that Paul gave us. You may notice here, not strictly necessary. So long as you put in any password that'll allow you onto that computer, it'll pop up with the kill phrase that you need, or half the kill phrase that you need. You also okay, notice that Gunter Herman's pass uh, kill phrase, although existent, is apparently not on the computers just yet. Guess a bit of foreshadowing, really. Anywho, there is one thing I forgot way back down here in the uh, MJ-12 facility. Unfortunately, it's locked once you leave, so this is actually an earlier save. Luckily, there's nothing I actually need from down here. On the left side there is a uh, multi-tool. Obviously, don't need any spares of those, but these two contain data cubes. First one is a code for the surgery, in case we didn't, you know, have the troopers open it up in a frenzied hurry to get away from Karkians. And the second one is the second opportunity to get everybody's password, and the first opportunity to get Private Lloyd's password and login. That's actually pretty interesting. Now, it's up to level two. Got someone you might recall in his office up here. Can't wait to meet him. Nope. And in this one we've got... Actually, we've got to be careful here. There are people in the conference room just across the way. Yeah, and it looks like they heard me, if nothing else. Yes, it was nothing. Didn't hear me very loudly, though, but... Yeah, there we go. Two, uh, troopers... ...sitting in the chairs here. Help! Lock and load! Now I just get to run away from them for a while. 
Wait for the poison to really seep into their veins, knock them out. Oh, that didn't take too long. Guess I freaked out uh, the secretary there. What, three picks? No way I'm doing that. Especially not since I don't have to worry about triggering anybody's, uh... There's one. Aggression, accidentally, in this case. Oh. Son of a... Very nice. I just wanted to make sure he didn't get the chance to shoot at me or anything like that. And I guess Janice is gonna be a little freaked out for a while too, so I'll just get back to her later. But until then... Let's open this cabinet one last time in a proper fashion. Explosively. For that we get plasma and some sabo. JC! Mandalay, it's JC! Hi Janice. How could you betray the Coalition? How could you betray the Coalition? Well, pretty easily as it turned out. She's got nothing but... Well, it looks like security has become lax again. Now I can log into everybody's user accounts. Uh, Daedalus has given me a little get the hell out. How could you betray the Coalition? Email. Let's see what Manderley's up to here. You will be much happier at the Library of Congress. I can't control a man's mind. You aren't a commander, Manderley. We hoped you'd give your neck to an urbane diplomatic face, that's all. We screwed up our priorities. I refuse to be pushed into some obscure bureaucratic cubbyhole. Actually, I doubt you'll get the chance. Look around. Your star pupil has come back to teach a lesson to his old instructor. JC. I never had time to take the oath of service to the Coalition. How about this one? I swear not to rest until UNATCO is free of you and the other crooked bureaucrats who've perverted its mission. Big words for a rookie. The only problem is that I've notified Agent Navarra of your escape. Trust me, she'll make sure you don't leave the facility alive. You can't run, Denton. Even if you escape, your kill switch is counting down. You'll be dead in 23 hours. Another 50 billion dollars down the drain. We'll see about that. Wait, 50 billion dollars? You, Denton, sure hung us out to dry. Thought we were on credits now. You won't recognize Yunatko in a few weeks. Simons will turn it into his own private army. I had struck a very careful balance between Washington and the public interest. It may never again be possible. Go on. Make your getaway. Go on. Make your getaway. You realize that Simons is not actually Washington. Also, I'm not going to kill Manderley. Because that's what Simons wants. I am going to give him a swirly, though. Ah, uh, satisfying. So let's have a look in at his computer. That wasn't on the network, and hey, what do you know? The other half of Navarra's kill phrase. And one last report from W.S., whom we all know stands for Walton Simons now. You know, one last thing. Just for old time's sake. Now we're basically done down here. Fortunately, that door can be unlocked. Oh man, they cleared out all my stuff. I mean, it wasn't really my stuff, but... Well, it was my office. Come on, guys. Oh! JC! Carry on with your banking. I'm just taking one last look at the old place. Amazing if you think about it. All the hours I spent dreaming about working here. All the heroic fantasies when really this place is just a cinder block bunker with a carpet. My banking. Oh, yes. Never mind me. Go ahead and escape. I won't pull the alarm. Something wrong? Really, as long as you stay out of the way, I don't have any reason to hurt you. Okay, I admit it. I'm the one who's been stealing from HQ. It was me all along. Kaplan, the false floor in Alex's office, everything that's missing. It was me. I'm the last person who's gonna bust you for stealing. What'd you take? Anything I could use? I don't know. 
You sure you can keep it hush-hush? I found a few scrambler grenades I was gonna give Kaplan. Good against bots, you know, but you could take them. I have three, twelve fifty each. I said something I could use, not scrambler grenades. I'll pass. By the way, interesting note here. If you look at the uh, computer terminal she's looking at, yeah, she already hacked this. That's why it's got no money in it. That's why she's in. Oh, yes, banking, sure. Looks like Hong Kong's going through some rough times. I guess that's to be expected, all things considered. I will have to kill you myself. Take your best shot, Flatlander woman. How did you know? Well then, that was effective. Yeah, so the kill switch... The way that works is, uh, there's a bomb inside every mechanically augmented agent. And if you say the kill phrase, which is something which would normally not be said in no normal conversation. Hear that? Hmm. Effective. Then they explode. Just so. Looks like I'm done here in Unatco. Oh, right. Gotta go talk to Alex now, since, uh... Navarra's finally dead. You gave Anna exactly what she deserved. I've sat here and watched her kill dozens of suspects. Now I'm not so worried about sticking out my neck to give you this key. I think you've already stuck out your neck, Daedalus. What are you talking about? You haven't been contacting me under an alias? The link went down. At first, I thought they'd executed you. Who else has access? Somebody cut the power to detention. I installed UNATCO security myself. It's unbeatable. You're starting to scare me. Not as much as you're scaring me. Who's Daedalus, and why does he want to rescue me? A better hacker than I. A trick like that? Well, it crossed my mind, I have to admit. I'm pretty disgusted with the agency right now, but I would have been caught. You wouldn't want to take that chance. No, but I can't just sit back and watch. You sound sincere. Maybe you should quit UNATCO. And do what? You can track me down in Hong Kong. I'm going to contact Tracer Tong and help the Resistance. I might do that. Sure, I'll think about it. And I'm going to check into this mystery hacker. To be fair... Oh, hang on. I'll check the logs. Maybe this Daedalus didn't cover his tracks. You better get moving. You better get moving. To be fair, Daedalus only got inside because Sam Carter let him in. Although Daedalus is also essentially as good a hacker as it is possible to be. So, I'm all topped off now. Nothing left to do, no one less to shoot. And by the way, Anna is one of the other few cases in which you are forced to take a life, or a life is forced to be taken. She cannot be subdued. It's the help. And that's even if you don't have her kill phrase. Also, this is the only opportunity you'll ever get to... Man, he had a lot of health. This is the only opportunity you'll ever have to get back here. Not that there is anything back here, but... It's an interesting note. Also, that represents another point of no return. Oh, right. There is one fellow up here, isn't there? No, I cannot forgive. No. Not the killing of Agent Navarre. I will follow you. Denton, I will get you. It's better this way. You didn't even see it coming. Anyway, Gunter Herman always says that right there, because Anna always has to be dead by this point. And, um... And it doesn't matter when Anna dies, by the way. Whether it's earlier or just now. Nothing else to do here. 
Well, there is, of course, the uh, comm van. Oddly enough, the cameras now, only now, actually start responding to your presence. Which is kind of annoying. Also because the... Yeah, and we even get another scramble grenade. How useless is that? Uh, the, the camera is also kind of annoying because... That uh, security terminal is broken. And so there's no way to turn it off. Still, there's really nothing it alerts at this point. So, you know, if you've got the key to come down here, you can get an EMP grenade just for old times' sake. But I'm all full of those. So it's time to leave. For the last time. You know to meet me. Daedalus. He called himself Daedalus. A friend of yours? Nope. I came because I owe your brother Paul a few favors. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna take you to Hong Kong. Can you put me in contact with Tracer Tong? I know a place where we can touch down in the city, but Tong is very suspicious of foreigners. You'll have to earn the trust of your brother's allies. They'll know how to find Tong. Great. Let's go. Time to see if this stealth copter is worth all the fuss. MJ-12 is a facility in Hong Kong and they'll be watching for us. Savor the moment, fellas. This is the last time you'll ever be seeing it. Huh. I guess it wasn't worth all the fuss. My goodness! Mr. Denton, did you escape? Yeah. How do you know who I am? I'm a prisoner too, and I say your name every day. I have cells from your body and culture. Your brothers too. My brother? Is he nearby? They have him in the medical area. Agent Denton, believe me, I share your fury at the skill switch functionality. Do you know Paul? Only from his disuse. The guards want me to figure out why your bodies tolerate the nanites. A damn hard question, I'm sorry to say. Do me a favor, play dumb. They know enough already. I try. Oh, how I try. Maybe you can slip out when I open the main doors. I've already been shot once, thank you. But good luck. The only code I can give you is 0199. That's to the medical area. Maybe you'd like to see your brother. I would. Thank you very much. I just came from the medical area. It's down the hall. Scientists are not allowed to leave this level. In three years, I haven't figured out who I'm working for. It's not you, Nako. Not directly. Paramilitary types run the place. They seem to have international ties. Mr. Denton, I wish you luck. Time to see if this stealth copter is worth all the fuss. MJ-12 is a facility in Hong Kong and they'll be watching for us. Good luck, JC. I can make it on my own from here. Now that we've completed the first act out of... roughly three, and the true nature of the conspiracy has been revealed, I think it's high time that I finish what I started in the first Conspiracy Corner and explain the secret history of Deus Ex, things that only a selected few know about the real puppet masters. Oh, and fair warning, but there are going to be a few setting spoilers coming up, nothing major to the plot of Deus Ex itself, and I personally think that an informed audience is a more appreciative audience, but if you disagree, you're free to turn off the video now. 
And one more thing, keep in mind that my information is once again courtesy of the Deus Ex Bible, a design document used during development which does not necessarily match perfectly with the story in the finished product. I'll do my best to update it with what I remember from the game itself, but be aware that I may be wrong, and it's not all my fault. The Illuminati Now, as we all know, the Illuminati, its predecessors and its subsidiaries, have controlled the world since time immemorial, but in 2052 there are some parts which are less directly controlled than others. For instance, the communist countries are all directly under the thumb of Illuminati agents. That's why China has been doing so well in particular, and the fall of the USSR in 92 was a direct blow against the secret society masterminds. In fact, the organized crime-based Russo-Mexican alliance bloc is a rogue agent in Illuminati politics, entirely unpredicted and unpredictable. South America, Africa, and the Middle East are also safely controlled by the Illuminati, which is why their situation hasn't changed much in the past five decades. But the democracies of North America and Western Europe have proven troublesome. President Mead is obviously a trilateral agent, but the president can't act unilaterally on everything, and the trouble with universal suffrage is that the people don't always make the correct choice. In addition, the advances of communications technology, starting with radio, but in particular, the internet, has made spin control an increasingly hard task. The Illuminati already has the Priory of Scion to influence the Western religions, and the UN, including its predecessors and ancillaries, to direct international politics, but to keep up with 20th century advancements, they formed the Bilderberg Group, designed to keep tabs on the increasingly electronic financial markets, and MJ-12, which is responsible for technology development, communications monitoring, and both drug and disease creation. Not everything went as planned, however. In the first place, Bob Page, the CEO of Page Industries, a member of the Illuminati Inner Circle and the head of MJ-12, staged a coup against his fellows, which is why black-clad stormtroopers are now the go-to enemies for the rest of the game. In particular, Page's megalomania isn't satisfied with simply being the richest and most powerful person alive. Instead, he wants to be the unquestioned ruler of all humankind before the end of his lifetime. A lifetime he will find ways to extend, naturally. But in the second place, the first AI that Bob Page created to monitor all online communications ever, which he named Daedalus, immediately classified MJ-12 as a terrorist organization and began to work against them in secret. Of course, the AI can't do much, seeing as it's completely online, but it can at least hack into secure networks and speak directly to JC and Paul Denton thanks to the info links implanted in their skulls. It can also limit access to the info link, which is why the two Dentons won't be ambushed everywhere they go from here on out. Science! In contrast to the Daedalus debacle, the MJ-12 Human Augmentation Project has been a rousing success. Uh, nano -aug test subjects aside. By 2052, those with mechanical augmentations are ostracized and feared by the general population, which is just perfect for the secret societies who want to keep track of just who has superhuman capabilities and for which purposes they are used. As we've seen, Anna Navarra was a ranking member of MJ-12, but Gunter Hermann is not. However, even if he wanted out of his position, he is trapped. With the stigma attached to his mechanical parts, and the fact that he'd be dead without them, there's nowhere else he could go. Plus, even if he found someone willing to take him in and able to service his mechanical parts, all MJ-12 would have to do is place a phone call, say his kill phrase, and that's the end of Gunter. In addition to the Mechanical Augmentation Project, the Physio-Pharmaceutical Augmentation Project has been turning out MIBs since the 2030s. The P-Augs don't have the raw power 
of mech augs, but they're cheaper to produce, easier to conceal, and more loyal to boot, as the process to create one includes both a series of drugs to enhance natural abilities and a comprehensive brainwashing, which instills incredible pain resistance and removes all traces of the original personality. However, MJ-12 wanted something with the low profile of a P-Aug, and yet the power of a mech aug, and so the nanotech augmentation project was born. The biggest initial hurdle actually came from the human immune system. Injecting a bunch of foreign objects into the bloodstream caused, at best, an outright rejection, and at worst a cytokine storm, a potentially fatal overreaction of the immune system. Now, here's where the story splits off a few ways, depending on the source. According to the Deus Ex Bible, Paul Denton and his unique immune deficiency, which allows him to carry nanomachines without major consequences, was discovered through a routine vaccination during which a blood sample was secretly taken and brought to M MJ-12 lab for analysis. Majestic 12 has the resources to sequence the DNA of every child born anywhere on Earth, you see. With a missing clue found, further samples were taken in secret and clones were grown in the lab. In addition to the primary control, a secondary control, JC, was grown and given to the Dentons to raise. Once the drugs and gene therapy developed far enough to allow anyone to become nano-augmented, MJ-12 arranged a car accident and or terrorist incident to take out Paul and the Dentons, but Paul survived, and the scientists decided that he could be the first candidate for human nano-augmentation. Once the technology was proven, Walton Simons and Bob Page followed suit, and JC became Nano Og number 4 once he joined UNACO. Now, while the game itself is kind of vague on the details, Paul and Lebedev could honestly be wrong about his parents being government agents, Human Revolution takes the stance that a secret lab had created Adam Jensen, the first human with just the right immune deficiency around 20 years before Paul Denton was born. The Dentons would therefore be genetically modified clones of Jensen developed as the MJ-12 labs moved on to nanotechnology and their parents would thus be government agents assigned to raise the two control subjects. And one final word before I move on. The Grey Death is not only a man-made virus, it is also nanomachines, given but one directive, reproduce. This effectively makes it a flesh-eating bacteria of the worst sort, which also causes a cytokine storm in victims, so you can imagine the kind of pain they're in. The fact that it's called the Grey Death is actually a nod to Eric Drexler's Grey Goo, a hypothetical scenario in which the entire Earth is eaten up by an unstoppable exponential wave of artificial replicators. La Resistance Although Bob Page is at the helm of the... Moloch machine, he's not the only one fighting for control. Other Illuminati members, particularly the ones who knew Page well and saw his coup coming, have successfully made it into hiding and are directing the various resistance groups who are fighting the ever-increasing tyranny of Bob Page's Majestic Twelve. In America, you've got Juan Lebedev, who uses his Mexican cartel money and Illuminati connections to pay for NSF operations. The Illuminati already funded the Islamic terrorists in the Middle East before Page took over, so it wasn't that far of a stretch. In China, we'll meet Tracer Tong, an affiliate of a Hong Kong triad, and an example of how that city is not taking China's control lying down. It's possible he's an Illuminatus too, but if so, he's still got some very different ideas on how the world should work. Meanwhile, in France, there's... well, we'll get to him eventually. Suffice to say, he taught Bob Page all he knows, and he's secretly been guiding Silhouette, the French resistance movement, and global resistance propagandists. There are other pockets of resistance, such as the Area 51 scientists who got tired of compromised morals, and the Templars who tried to split away from the Bilderberg group after Page assumed command. Plus, as we saw, the Illuminati are still using the Freemason network they subverted around two and a half centuries ago. But as for right now, it's time to see what Hong Kong has in store for us. 
thanks again for joining me in Conspiracy Corner, and I hope I'll see you soon.